welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 from my garage. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing a big kitchen renovation. I've been keeping you guys updated on my Twitter, but for the next little while, I'm going to be live streaming and filming a whole bunch of my videos from my garage in here. It's actually a big improvement because I have a dog. Anyways, today in Forza Horizon 5, it is a brand new week in Mexico, and with it comes some new cars for FH5, like this, the Dodge Super B. Fun fact, this thing has some really cool engine swaps. So if you like big horsepower and drag racing, you might want to check that out. In the Forza-thon shop for the week, hello, Toyota ET37. Today is a little bit of a sad day, though, because today, if you jump into the car pass, we have this. This is the 2019 Nissan Nismo 3 70Z. Today is sad because this is actually the end of the FH5 car pass. Anyways, so today we're gonna jump into this thing, check out the 370Z customization, but before we do that, I want to tell you why I don't think this car should be in Forza Horizon 5. Alright, Twitch chat keeps saying there's a lot of body mods for this thing. Either Twitch chat is lying and I'm about to be disappointed, or I think I'm gonna like the 370Z. This wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Nissan Nismo 370Z. Speaking of 370Zs, there's the old one. That is the regular 370Z that's been in Forza Horizon 5 since the game came out. This one is from 2019, and more importantly, it has the Nismo package. Nismo also gives you like a whole bunch of really cool body mods. Like they give you this little red trim down at the bottom little red side skirt, a little red front splitter, all around a pretty cool looking car. There are no engine upgrades for the Nismo version compared to the regular version. When the Nissan 370Z first came out in uh, the 1900s, I thought it was one of the coolest cars ever. One of my neighbors actually had the original 350Z when those first came out. I fell in love with the 350Z. Then when the 370Z came out, I was like blown away by it. Like, wow, that's an awesome little sports car. H however, I think Nissan kind of forgot that they made the 370Z. Nowadays, I'm not gonna lie, it's really outdated. And I think there's better cars that you can buy. Like if you want horsepower, you buy a Mustang. Or if you want something better in the corners, you buy a Mazda MX-5. And if you want something slow, you buy a GT86. Ooh, that's gonna trigger some people, isn't it? Long story short, fast forward to today, Nissan is now making the 400Z or the Proto Z, whatever they're calling it, the new Z, whatever the name actually is. And not to mention this car is already outdated, which is kind of like, I get it, it's cool, it's a Nismo, it's new and spicy, kind of. But there's so many other better things. Twitch chat was telling me there's some crazy customization for this thing. I don't believe you. I don't think they're telling the truth. Let's start with that. Front bumper. Whoa. Nismo parts. Okay. Really? Virus one, please. Please. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. How about the rear wings? Big country labs. No way. So a Nismo rear wing. That's actually uh not bad. How about this one? That's also not bad. That's less bad. The Varus rear wing is just kind of weird. I mean, it's cool carbon fiber. Oh, you know we're doing it. Oh, you know we're doing it. Yeah, there's no place for Forza Aero on this car. So Nismo, Nismo, and Varus. Bro, that's sick. We've also got some side skirts. Nismo, Nismo, and Varus. That's really nice. That actually works really nicely with the front bumper. And last but not least, our hood. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. When I changed the front bumper, I wasn't even paying attention, but it kind of makes it wide body almost. You know what? Maybe let's try to keep things almost more realistic for this build. Recently, I've been so down for like realistic builds in FH5. Let's turn this into an A-class race car. I feel like that'll just be super, super fun. The stock engine, it's good, but it definitely could be better. 6.2 liter V8. If we decide to do a drift build, I think we're probably going to run that. Then you've got an RB26 because, of course, speaking of GTRs, hello, R35. Then you've got a 2JZ, of course, and a 7.2 liter V8 racing engine. 
Maybe if we do do drifting, I think that's going to be the call. Keeping it in A class, though, I think we've got to go with the 6.2 liter V8. I think that's just the obvious play. Then let's definitely get some better grip. Actually, my tires already are sport tires. I mean, I could toss on some rally tires. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That'll make us better. Then let's go a little bit wider for our rear tires. 295s. That's not bad. How about with some engine spacers? I like it. Then let's go upgraded brakes. Love some good upgraded brakes. And it brings us to a 6.9. Race suspension. Look at that stance. That's what I'm talking about. We are definitely going to have to drift this thing. That is awesome. You know what? Maybe let's just go sport weight reduction. 3,000 pounds. I feel like that's also fairly realistic. After all of our upgrades, sub 3,000 pounds. That's really nice. A class with 460 horsepower. Last but not least, I guess we'll give this thing a little bit of color. Oh, okay. Once again, welcome back to Nick wanting to ban the sale of black, white, silver, and gray cars. I like it. I really like that. That's an awesome looking car. It might not be fast, but it's realistic and and it looks really good. Open up the photo mode. This car is going to look amazing. You can't tell me that that car doesn't look so sick. I think we just found the thumbnail for the video because that looks so goddamn good. <laughs> is our realistic 370Z going to be any good? So we've got the Supra behind. And um, we, we have, we've already dropped into last place. Gaining. Gaining. Got him. Thank you, AI, for not knowing how to drive. Okay, Twitch chat keeps making fun of my rear wing, but I feel like the rear wing actually makes this car. I feel like this is something that could be on the cover of, like, a magazine. It's definitely not the fastest car I've ever made. It maxes out at 106. Go, little 370Z. Catch up to the hairdresser. Swing it to the side. Got him. Lovely. Okay, keep going. This is exactly the type of build that I wanted to make, though. Do not let the Supra take us down. Okay, look at that outdated. Actually, don't look at my outdated interior. Okay, gain. Gain. Little rubbing is racing. Drag race. Did I get him? I got him. I got him. Yes. I didn't even set out to build something fast, but it still did surprisingly well. What I think we should do is turn this thing into an awesome, super grippy road car. I think we've got to go S1 class, and I think we're going to go with this. Then let's go all-wheel drive. Look at that acceleration. Look at that launch. That's crazy. This thing's going to be S2 class. Full slick tires. S2925. I've already got upgraded brakes. I've already got race suspension what i need is more weight reduction and then i can get even more horsepower it bro are you kidding me s2 963 and then with my turbos that's ridiculous and that my friends is how a death trap is born <laughs> i think this is gonna be a little sketchy to drive now come on 370z this thing is about to be absolutely rapid yo we're going up against 911s okay go all-wheel drive launch zero to 120 in about six seconds. That's insane. Okay, keep going. 200 miles an hour. Top speed, 215 to... Thank you, S2000. Top speed, 215 to 220 miles an hour. This thing is not that great in a straight line. It's also got a little bit of understeer, even though I tried to... Tune it out. I tried to do a little bit of tuning so we could actually get through the corners and... I mean, we've definitely got a little bit of understeer, but it's its not bad. I would have thought this would have understeered. Oh my God, there's the understeer. Way more than it actually does. I didn't die in my 370Z. Okay, here we go. These types of corners, it's actually really good at. Just a little dab of the brake, then back on the power instantly. That was close to the bridge. Got him. I, I, I actually think the rear wing and the front splitter on this thing make it so much better. Maybe we should just give this a go on rally racing. Maybe kind of try to one-up the Safari Z and see what happens. For those of you who don't know, the Safari Z is a Nissan 370Z that it was Chris Forsberg who built it for SEMA. And long story short, the Safari Z was um bad. It, it was just kind of a car that was built at the last minute and totally rushed out of the door. Long story short, I think we can do better with this thing. Why don't we swap in a GTR R35 engine into the thing? Make it the ultimate 370Z. I like the sound of that. 
all-wheel drive. We've already got that. Then how about some off-road chunky tires? I think the only other thing I'm going to do is just toss on some rally suspension so we can have some better ride and then maybe a little bit more horsepower nothing crazy nothing over the top like we're not going to get to the top of s1 class but 703 horsepower r35 engine in a 370z how about we also check out the designs what designs do we have yo i love this design this is actually the same design that i ran on the safari z when i built that thing i kind of like the advan paint job let's do it advan it is fun fact advan are the tires that i'm running on my golf <laughs> over there. Maybe I should wrap my golf to look like this. Imagine my golf with this same paint job. That would be pretty cool. No joke. I was so down about this car when I put... I didn't know the AI started off-road back there. Anyways, no joke though. I was actually so like disappointed when I saw that this thing was going to be included in the car pass. I was like, oh... 370Z again? Like, we just got one. Honestly, the customization that this thing has is really saving it and really making it that much better than the other 370Z... Zs that we have in the game. I still have a skill issue that is completely flat. Jeez, you don't need to break. You literally don't need to break with this thing. Just send it through. There's a little break. Dab of the handbrake and we're through up to first. That is crazy. Dab of the brake again. A little bit of a tap. Thank you very much. Keep us going in the right direction. Really is the ultimate 370Z. The Extreme Z. That's a good name. Who needs the Safari Z when you have the Extreme Z? And then, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. 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 I've just been ratioed. And just like that, the Extreme Z is fallen off, wash, skill issue, all of the above. I think it's time we need to take this thing and go sideways. Are we going rear wheel drive or are we going all wheel drive? What do we want to do? Twitch chat definitely is saying they want all wheel drive. It's very, very close though. We are going all wheel drive 370Z drift car. So I think the obvious choice is we've got to power this to Jay-Z. Then we've already got all of our big aero. We're going to have a ton of horsepower. So let's keep this on the stock tires. I've got my drivetrain mods. I think the only thing I need is a little bit of drift suspension. A lot of Twitch chats actually saying take the rear wing off. I mean, we can. I don't think it'll look as cool. Maybe we just go with the Varus rear wing. Like, it's not bad. It's still a little spicy, though. And it's got carbon fibery bits down there. Yeah, let's go for that. You know what? It's been a little while since we've actually hit up our favorite drift zone out in the desert. I mean, my personal best is nearly 240,000. Again, I mean, we'll just kind of get an idea if this thing's any good. I mean, the horsepower, the tires, the suspension, everything was looking really, really good. It's just gonna be a matter of, does it actually drive nicely? Like, does it feel good to drive? And um, about two corners later, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes it does. Okay, keep going. Keep sending it more angle, please. More angle, please. It doesn't pick up the angle that nicely. That's a nice purple. Keep going. 220,000 on my first attempt. If I can get the rear slip out of the car, there we go. There we go. That's the start that I want. That's the type of angle that I need from this thing. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, power problems. Who would have ever guessed a thousand horsepower in a car wouldn't be enough? That's kind of insane. That's a very messy drift run, but that should be a couple more points this time around. 3,000 points more than the last attempt from a very messy run. The sun is setting out in Mexico. This is it. The problem is, is I lose so much of my speed through these first, like, little switchbacks right there that I can't carry it wide enough through here. Like, I really want to run that outside line and pull huge angle but I'm kind of just not able to with this setup that I'm rocking right now. I'm just, I'm not getting enough of what I need right now. Like, it's really good, but it's not good enough. Man, 
We go and improve again. 370Z, I thought I wouldn't like you. I probably still would say I would have preferred something else to be added into the game. Don't get me wrong, the 370Z is an awesome car. I would have just preferred something else to be added into Forza Horizon 5 instead. Saying that though, the version that we've got with all the customization is making the best of a bad situation. Pretty cool car. <laughs>